What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn uh, prompt engineering for um, writing email template, all right? So uh, we're going to utilize this tool called whole analysis and make sure that you're on uh, write something sections and then select email, all right? Because we want to uh, create email template. So just enter the main topic, like what's going to be um, the objective of your email. So I guess, um, I'm going to try with this topic, um, email to invite my clients for future collaborations, all right? So I want to invite my clients for, you know, future collaborations, all right? Uh, for the subtopics, I think I'm going to leave this empty, right? Um, what else? Because I'm trying to convince my client to join my project. I'm going to select persuasive, right? So I'm trying to convince uh, the prospect of, you know, my project. So my uh, clients will consider to join uh, my project, right? And right in this tone, so I'm going to select optimistic, all right? So I want the tone to be optimistic. Uh, what else? Include this keyword. So there are like several keywords that I want to include. So those are uh, projects, uh, prospective, what else? Um, maybe uh, profitable. I think that's it. I'm just going to uh, include these three keywords. And for the negative keywords, uh, so if you have anything to be excluded from the prompt, just make sure that you add those keywords here, right? Okay, cool. And reading grade level. Um, so this time, I want my email template to look very professional, right? And my client is definitely a highly educated. Um, so I think it's not going to be a big problem if we increase uh, the reading grade level all the way up to grade 12, right? So obviously, ChatGPT is going to be more frequently using uh, more complex vocabularies, but I think it's going to look professional and it's going to uh, it's going to be good for us, right? And required word count. Uh, I don't want the email to be very long because I want to make sure uh, the client will read like the whole thing. Uh, but at the same time, I also don't want it to be very short, right? Because very short email template looks not very professional. So I think I'm going to go with 200. 50 words or maybe that's too long i'm just gonna go with 200 words all right okay cool um or maybe even 200 words is too long so i'm just gonna go with um 150 words all right i think that's it, that's it. i'm just gonna copy this prompt all right a uh, very cool prompt here right 150 word email about um invitations okay okay i i think i need to fix this all right so i'm going to fix it invitation so write a uh, 150 word email about invitations for my clients invitation to my clients for future collaborations all right so i'm just gonna copy this or maybe you can just uh click on this button and then let's go to chat gpt and then paste that from here and then enter all right so we'll see um chat gpt is now generating us the email template where you can customize it, feel free to add modifications to this email template to adjust your needs. So yeah, dear, uh, the name of our client, right? So I hope this email finds you well. I'm reaching out to extend a heartfelt invitation for you, for you to you for an exciting opportunity to collaborate on future projects. After carefully analyzing our past interactions and considering the immense potentials for growth, I'm confident that joining forces will prove highly advantages for both our businesses, right? So uh, definitely very high quality email templates that you can customize it based on your need. Um, so yeah, guys, that's how you uh, utilize how analysis to generate your prompt. Um, I think that's it. That's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to learn uh, how to use another tool, which is FlowGPT again to um, generate you uh, email template, right? So I'll see you guys there.
What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn um, the same exact thing that we learned in the previous video. So we're still going to learn prompt engineering for ML template. But in this video, we're going to utilize different tools. So instead of using Hull Analysis, we're going to uh, use Flow GPT. So as you guys can see here, I've already typed email and then search. And if you scroll down here, there are many different uh, prompts available for you to use uh, related to email template. So you have professional business email, we have cold email GPT, all right? So there are many of them and you should explore. But obviously the video is going to be very long if we try to uh, test every single one of them. So I'm just gonna pick one that is most interesting, all right? So that is email generator. I'm just gonna pick this one. As you guys can see, um, this prompt is going to help you a lot to uh, create an email. Um, in a short period of time right so normally it will take you like maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes to create like your email draft but utilizing this prompt you're going to spend maybe less than three minutes or even less than a minute to create your email template right so as you guys can see here all we need to do is just to fill in uh, the informations right so let's say the name um, is going to be uh, my boss let's say his name is mr johnson all right, just, you know, just random name and the subject. Yeah, it's going to be a project update. All right, so I'm going to uh, update uh, my project and his pronouns is going to be he, him. All right. And the pleasantries is going to be uh, thank the recipient for the email. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, the main point. Um, just going to let him know that the data has been updated and the code has been integrated with the main system all right so that's my main message my main point and the tone is going to be professional informative and maybe not sympathetic we're just going to remove that part because that's not very relevant to our uh, topics and for the name it's going to be um see above um referring to mr johnson all right so uh i think i'm going to uh scroll down a little bit and lastly for the closing it's going to be thanks for the uh time together on this project best regards i'm going to replace there with your all right so i think that's it i'm just gonna send and see what chat gpt is going to generate us all right Dear Mr. Johnson, thank you for your email. I'm writing to provide you with an update on the project. We have completed the following task, updated the data, integrated the code with the main system. We believe these updates will greatly benefit the project and improve its functionality. Um, we'll be able to see these changes in action soon. We will be reaching out soon to introduce ourselves and answer any questions um, I think I kind of messed up in the pronouns here. I think we should just um, replace this with I. So I'm sorry, guys. Um, if there is anything else we can assist with in the mean meantime, please let us know. Thank you for your time and collaborations on this project. Best regards. And this is going to be my name, right? So yeah, guys. Um, so that's the email. Uh, definitely a very professional email. So I think this probe... Uh, really generates uh, amazing email templates that you can uh, customize to adjust your need guys so yeah i think that's it for um, email i'll see you guys in the next video we're going to learn uh, prompt engineering but for text to image generator instead of chat gpt so i'll see you guys there